gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. It's time to get it moving, y'all. Step up your game. You gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. Motivate. Get up and keep moving. Celebrate this life is no illusion. Demonstrate the skills you've been using. And everybody get up and get up. Welcome back to another review by Zion Bill. In today's review, we're going to take a look at Spyglass Elixirs, which you can find at spyglassvapor.com. Now, just want to point something out real quick. I'm going to say it again at the end of the review. They don't go live on selling their e-juices online um, separately as of yet until November 7th when they have the big Vapors E-Juice Summit. Now, if I can find information on that when I go to edit this review, I will put a link down below here at the end of the review for the Vape Summit, for the Vape E-Juice Summit that's happening November 7th. Now, as far as how can you get their flavors, well, at the end of the review, I'll have some contact information up over here on where you can get all six of their flavors for $65. So you know how we roll peeps. We're going to go take a look at their website, get a little information on the juices that we're vaping, and then we'll come back and have ourselves a big vape session. So let's go take a look at that website. Welcome to the brief online tutorial for... Spyglass Elixir, which is made by Spyglass Vapor or Vapor Emporium. So now let's take a look at their website. You can find Spyglass Vapor Emporium at spyglassvapor.com. Now, as of right now, they don't have a storefront for their elixirs. However, I do know, and I will have the contact information and more details on it, on how you can get their flavors. It'll be at the end of the review. But let's take a look at their e-juice or elixirs, as they say it. They do carry six different ones, which you can see them right here. They have Flying Dutchman. Lovelace, Buccaneer, Nightmother, Dr. Acula, and Captain's Daughter, which I'll be reviewing four of these in the review. Spyglass Vapor Emporium is a vapor distributor and a service. We specialize in new to market as well as popular vapor products. We offer fast delivery, including tutorials to shops and individuals. Our premium juice line, as well as a storefront, is coming soon. Please contact us for any inquiries on products, pricing, and orders. And there is their contact information, which I will have again at the end of the review. And that will do it for the brief online tutorial for Spyglass Elixir, which is made by Spyglass Vapor Emporium. Now, back to the review. Before I start, I must point out, I did receive these free of charge for purpose of conducting a review, but my opinion of the products will remain true, honest, and accurate as always. So let's take a quick look at the label on these e-juices. see here they've got the name of the juice captain's daughter and then they've got a picture of a lady and then some steampunk gears which I'll take a look at here in a second and of course spyglassvapor.com now those gears has Nick strengths which is 0 3 6 and 12 And that's pretty much the label. 
which I have loaded up in my Pyro RDA on my Stingray X. And the Pyro RDA, I have single parallel coil to about point. Point nine ohms, point nine ohms. Now, Cam's daughter is a is pretty much like a green apple with um, candy flavoring. Uh, it's sweet and it's sour and like a mix. It, personally, it's not the kind of vape that I have because apple vapes, especially the green apple type. It's like a tarty kind of apple. Um, personally, I've never enjoyed those. It is good, though. I mean, it tastes really good. It's well blended. So I'm going to give it about a 7 out of 10. And the throat hit is a mild, so I'll give that a 6 out of 10. And the baby production, even though it comes down to personal setup, I'm still going to give it a 9 out of 10. For consistency, for, for consistency, I just pulled a zombie. Everybody group vape. <clears throat> okay, so the next one we're taking a look at is Night Mother. And as you can see, they got a picture of a. What is that? I guess it's a lady elf. But she's got like elf pointy ears, or maybe she's Vulcan. Not sure. But. Nevertheless, that is a picture of a lady with point ears, <laughs> um, which I have loaded up in my Cerebus, or Cerebus. I can't say that right for some reason. Cerebus. And I have it on my brand new uh, custom box mod by Taylor. Now, this is a hard build, my peeps. That's a tri-coil, and I have it at about 0.5 ohms. Whew. Takes a lot to fire one of these suckers, too. I had to have the right kind of mod to do it. So let's have a bait. Get this airflow right, too. There we go. She's firing like a butte now. This, personally, out of the four that they sent to me, this is my favorite. Um, it's like a, a peppermint patty. It's basically um, dark chocolate with a mint kick to it. i got to give the flavor profile on this one a 10 out of 10, because I've always been a big menthol enthusiast and that always includes mints as well and being that it's a peppermint patty type vape that's incredible T uh, all day vape worthy yes um throw hit i have to give it a four out of ten because a mild to me is a six out of ten and just because of that cool minty blast that it has it drops it some um, and that's perfect for me because the lesser the throat hit, the better. Now, um, this is the type of liquid that I would actually recommend cloud chasers use. And um, as far as vapor production goes, 9 out of 10, consistency, and plenty of buccaneer. And there's a picture of a dude... It looks like a Chinese hat. I don't know. I can't really make that out too well. <laughs>
I have it loaded up in my crown, which I have um, yep, dual micro to about point to about point five ohms. I like a point five ohms. That's a pretty good consistent vape for me. And uh, I've got it on my twenty six six fifty black copper stingray. Now this is the one that I've been vaping on for the last week and a half, just off and on, off and on, because this is the kind of vape that I personally enjoy all day long. It's, it's like a bunch of fruits put together with a good hearty chunk of rum. So it's, it's really good vape. I get the flavor profile on this one a 10 out of 10 as well. And the, uh, the throw hit, it's actually a little bit less than a mile, so I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. And the vapor production, pretty consistent, and plenty of it. Love lace. Now, this is a really, really good one. And I have that loaded up in my Dreadnought. <laughs> Which I have, uh, I can't really say it's a microcoil because I'm using 20 gauge Canthal in this, but I have it scrunched together like you would a microcoil, but it's just massive. But it's a 0.3 ohm. So let's, uh, let's blow some clouds, shall we? Hmm. Okay. Now this is a good one because here again, I've never had this style of bait. Um, it's like a French. See if I can say this right. <laughs> um, crepe. Yeah, crepe. It's a French crepe with cinnamon. I think I said it right. <laughs> um, it's definitely like a uh, really good dessert style breakfast food type vape um, with cinnamon <laughs> that cinnamon just picks it up some you know um, it's it's almost like a flavor explosion because once that French crepe starts to I say crepe well everybody your vape and unscrewed it up uh, once that crepe starts to get into your taste buds then the cinnamon hits and wow it's really killer vape but it's not as killer as the last two that I just did. So I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. And the, uh, the, the throat hit. Throat hit is about a mile. It's a 6 out of 10. And the vapor production? Well, personal setup says yes. It's high end. So we'll give it a 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of it. So there you have it, my peeps. That's four from Spyglass Vapor on their Spyglass Elixir line. Now, if you fancy trying one of these out for yourself, you can't get them individually until after the Vape E-Juice Summit, which is happening November 7th. I should have some information scrolling across the screen right here on it. But in the meantime, you can go to their... Yep, right over here, their Facebook. You can contact them there, or you can get in touch with the two emails that I have underneath of that, and you can order their, what they're calling their five for $65, but they throw in the sixth one for free. 
So big shout out to uh, Spyglass Vapor for sending these on to me. Really good juice. Um, it's definitely the Cloud Chasers kind of juice. I would recommend all my peeps use these in drippers. Um, and the other good news is I didn't have to really steep these very long because I've only had them less than a couple of weeks. So um, I hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my YouTube. And as always, my peeps and peepettes, happy vaping.